Greetings to all and sundry, Chancellor North Wales here. Time really for the an end of April chat. Um, letting you guys know about what I've been doing, what's been going on here in the Chamber of the Horned Rat, um, and just a general uh, discourse. Uh, firstly, I'm going to apologise. haven't been on the modelling community as such, and uh, I'll get to the reasons why I haven't been much on the modelling community as such. Uh, certainly not to my usual level, I'll sort of explain why. Um, actually, I must well get on with that explanation first. Um, once I finished the car, I had another uh, project to crack on with, which has been finishing off a dystopian wars fleet. Uh, this time the Ottomans, and it's just been follows my rule of one project at a time and uh, so for past few weeks all I've been doing is painting more flipping dystopian walls of ships and tiny flyers and all that other sort of gubbins now I'm going to not show the tiny flyers individually but um, these are now held in actual I've ended up making from plastic card storage racks for them um, and it's been just one of those times where you get into the seriously obsessive behaviours. Um, I suppose I do that quite easily anyway. But So while I've been doing this, um, finishing off a dystopian fleet, um, making sure they can be boxed up in a single box, doing weird shit like a walking Ottoman aircraft carrier, yes. And all that kind of weird stuff, uh, which I say has not been unenjoyable, but I've used the time, the background time to really throw myself into listening to history programs. Um, 1914, you know, we're looking at this year being the 100th anniversary of the start of the First World War, and all credit to the BBC, they've been doing a good series of documentaries on the subject, and I've been digging up other documentaries on YouTube. Anything that I can find on World War II, I've been listening to. Just, it's the right time it's. I found that the History Channel, which sometimes earns the nickname of the Hitler Channel, um, over focuses on the Second World War. And uh, there was a lot about the reasons behind the start of the world, First World War, and it went far beyond just Ferdinand being assassinated. Um, I wanted to get my head round reasons as to how the First World War finished, um, how it laid the foundations for the Second World War, a bit more of the depth and the meat behind that, um, why it took the form it took, all that side of it. Um, the last of the First World War veterans has, and certainly in the UK, has passed away. And I think as that particular piece of history becomes dimmer and dimmer, I think we need, personally, I've needed to get my head around it far better than I have done. So, okay, I haven't been spending out on books on the subject, but with modern media, with what's available online, there's a huge amount out there, and now's the time to really get your teeth into it. So I've been just soaking up whatever I can on that. I've also been listening to a lot of videos by the Veritas Forum, uh, which is an organisation that of scientists who are also Christians and their discussion about faith, about, if I say, the reconciliation of, of faith and science, subject that for me matters a great deal. Um, and I've listened to an awful lot of their lectures and their talks on YouTube and they've got very good presence on there. Um, also, where possible, listening to as much political history as I can. Um, PBS have done a superb, I mean, brilliant documentary series on the history of socialism um, which was 
just to open your eyes up to how it's evolved and that side of things and its rise and its fall, its goals, its ideals you know, all credit to them um, for producing such a superbly scripted, researched and informative program and subjects like that the, the meaty programs that give satisfaction and sometimes you just need to lose yourself in that and I, I'll say again guys because of the anniversary of what this year is if any of you guys have an interest in military history I know a lot of modelers do now's the time I think delve into the First World War you don't have to build models of it if you don't want to I'm not seeing a First World group but any crap like that I'm talking about soak yourselves with the immediate that's available in the history um, just, I don't know, maybe they help develop that connection, that feel. But, so, being less of the modelling vids, much more of that side for me. Um, and that's been why I've been inanely painting. Uh, finishing off a dystopian walls fleet and getting them done and boxed up into a nice big box like this, make sure I've got 2,000 points crammed into here. And to me, that's a done job now. Um, also, there's been a lot on the Spark Games Dystopian Wars forum with the oncoming 2.0 rule set being part of the the playtest community, I'm really not doing as many way near as much playtest as I feel I should do, but a lot of interesting a lot of stuff going on there, so the wargaming side and the history side has occupied my time, my focus this month quite extensively. That means I haven't kept up particularly with some of the newer modelers, though I do keep a list of new people I do subscribe to, and I'll make a point of going through um, this list when I next do a vid, as I'm now re-upping my, uh, my, my modelling watching. Uh, the series on the on BBC has finished. Now it's a bit more bitty. And for those of you who have been following the series on BBC iPlayer, um, great. If you haven't been, take a look at it. Normally those videos I've watched three times. Anyway, enough warbling on that. Um, other things that have been going on, Joyce with a PC, it appears that with uh, Windows XP now coming out of date, um, I suddenly found my system slowed down horrendously. Uh, and it's literally a case of click on a tab, go and make yourself a cup of tea, come back and hope it's loaded up. So I'm on the verge of going over to um, Linux. Um, seeing how this PC runs on that. Still haven't quite taken the plunge, I've got to shove everything onto my onto a pen drive just to be on the safe side. And so that's I think a change that's going to be coming up this weekend, if I get my finger out on that one. Um, this is being recorded on my phone and then directly downloaded from my phone. Um, future builds, modeling table is now getting clearer. Um, just finishing off some Ottoman surface skin, skimming mines. These little things, yeah. And um, once they're done and in the box, it'll be time for this beastie. For the uh, seaplane group build. Now I have watched enough videos to track what people have been saying about uh, the current uh, group build culture and I know there's quite a lot guys if you sign up for the group build guys it will be great to follow you uh, Ragsy and myself and uh, look forward to you guys doing it um, quite simply guys grab yourself a seaplane have fun um, float plane whatever helicopter with floats well that's all I've got lined up for that now um, Looking forward to doing it. Bit fearful on the airbrushing side because uh, 
had some challenges when airbrushing that car. I think seals have maybe took a bit of a clobbering, particularly using the uh, the Alcad plug clad primer, which is exceptionally thin. Um, so that's been interesting, but hopefully the airbrush will chug along sufficiently that I can get plenty of the Tamiya white down and grey on that larger share frame. Um, so that's what's coming up next, right? Big thank yous um, for all the comments about the Ford Mustang. Also, it's lovely to meet you guys at the Cosford Model Show. Um, and if you look on here, you'll see there's a couple of vids of that. Still haven't put up the competition one. That means I've got pulled off those photos off my camera and onto memory stick and all that fun and games. Um, so, as for what I've been seeing on the community, as I said, I've been following the historical vids, uh, been following the, the what commenting and what's looking on relating to dystopian wars because I've been focusing on the dystopian war stuff. And the other reason being is with painting war games miniatures, it's larger, it's batch painting. Not the miniatures are, but because it's batch painting, you tend to keep rolling and having just one thing that's on running for an hour rather than six minute, 15 minute videos that you're going back to. And I just personally find it easier to listen to modeling vids when I'm modeling and listening to um, historical vids when I'm doing stuff for wargaming because they run for longer. That's the simple reason, just because of the nature of the, the painting. Um, because you've got one colour out, f often for a longer period. Um, it, when I'm airbrushing, I'll have one, probably a BBC programme rather than the modelling video on, for the simple reason that it's just running for that longer period. Um, so, a little bit of a breakdown of explanation of what's been happening. Once again, thank you for all the comments. There's been some brilliant vids out there. A lot of very good commentaries about the community and got mentioned Aaron Newlands and Hamdikar uh, Barkas on that. Some superb chats there. Uh, some brilliant work as always from Alex Modeling that uh, Midway uh, models just jaw dropping and the way he compiled and composed of it. Definitely what uh, an Alex special there. Um, so I've been following some bits and pieces. Thoroughly enjoyed doing so. So we've got this next uh, project coming up. Um, that I will kick off at, not during April, quite simply. A few days left, it's going to be started on the dot of the 1st of May. And the goal that gets built during May. Um, And I mean, it also means that my projects are now aligned with the starts and ends of the month, which is, I must admit, how I like it. Um, it just fits in nicely and all clicks together like that for me. Um, generally speaking, keeping well, guys. Um, made a mistake of drinking too much Red Bull and getting a sensation that made me feel as if my heart was trying to punch its way out of my chest recently, so not such a good idea and made me think, yeah, just watch that, watch out for that one lad. That wasn't good at all. Um, and you Mary, and, uh, and there's people say, in the States saying, just say no. I've got to say, just say no whenever I go to a bloody news agent's or a garage. No, I can't touch that Red Bull. Anyway. Uh, end of the warbling. Thanks for listening. Keep up the great modelling projects. Keep posting the vids. Um, hopefully, I might sort out some of the video issues. I've got still not being able to hear some people's vids. Because it just sits themselves or whatever. Uh, keep up the good work guys, keep the great community that we've got going, and uh, take care, and uh, happy modelling.